Hey, Coach John here, and another week is down, and here we are. I wanted to first start off on this sheet because this is really important, and I know I haven't had anyone input their data. Uh, that is going to be a priority this week because at this point, we all should have quality foods in our diet. Um, it's really a matter of fine-tuning the, the numbers, if you're, especially if you're still not getting the results you want. So here we are coming into the end of the week of 24th, and I need weight updates, ladies, and stickers for activity levels. And also, food logs are a little scattered. I know a few of us are out of the country. No worries. Um, we'll be talking about that because I see someone has been logging, Nancy, which is awesome. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with our nutrition. So, let's see, we have first uh, Jennifer Thomas. I just messaged you. All right, so uh, here is Nadi. She had a challenging week, but uh, we had a good chat today. She's back on it. And you, my friend, are eating quality foods, as we can see from the side over here eggs. Um, chai tea, chicken fajita tacos. Let's see. I'm not really sure the exact what goes into that. What if you if you're logging like a taco? It's very I would honestly because that could be a lot of different things. Start with the beef, like roughly how much beef. That's why it's good to um, you know measure out your food for some period of time so you have a quick easy reference later down the road. Like I could tell you what four to six ounces of chicken breast or even eight ounces of beef looks like pretty much in a heartbeat um, based on the, the, what I see, not the, not the weight at all. And that comes from just repetition and repetition and repetition, just like lifting weights, right? Um, green smoothie, okay. See, we, need more, we need more info here. Uh, once again, probably way too low. I know your biggest challenge is actually making time for food, but... I think after we talk today, we're going to see a big difference. Nancy, let's see what we got. So, calories are low, my friend. I want to see this higher. Or you need to find your exact number. Uh, I'll help you with the math if you need it. And, uh, yes, so, I yeah, should make a note to do that. Sorry about that. So I'll write that down so I don't forget. Chicken, good. Money, let's see. Call it that protein. Not bad. Good. This is huge. Getting a high protein amount. Probably afford more fat in your diet. Okay. And carbs are pretty low. Got to see your specific numbers. Here's what I wanted to look at though. So if we look at these two things, right? Um, this gives you back a calories. So that kind of throws off our data. Best to not have the two integrated. Let's see. Um, so starting off the day, uh, I would try to add more protein in. So you can see. Getting the quality fats is, is very good, or almond butter. Getting some protein in, even in, in the form of a shake, is going to help you feel better, sustain energy better as it's going on throughout the day. Look at that, our Jama juice. I think we know what we need to do with that. Good. Then in our day, okay. You really broke this down for me, thank you. In total, oh, sorry, protein. protein count. Yep, shrimp, great choice. Berries, big shift, right? And it's not like you know one day's worse, one day's bad, or one day's good. They are what they are. But you know this is a very big learning lesson because this total hits the same here almost identically, but the 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 makeup of the day is is a complete flip. That's, you always want that high. These two, you can see an inverse between fat and carbs 
and uh, still see progress if not maintained fairly easily. But protein should be a constant for the most part. Uh, thank you, Starbucks. Eggs and bacon, easy. Good. Okay, cool. Panera. Good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Perfect. All right, let's look at our totals. Good. I'd imagine your your calorie goal is right around here. If not, maybe even a little bit higher. You are pretty active, which I love. This is good. This is the type of balance of you're probably going to be looking for. Okay, we'll need to get specific goals for you still. So start with our numbers. Right. Whoa, look at our protein count, right? This is travel day, I think. So I'm pretty sure you were on a plane and had next to no control. And if you're in, you're in Italy, I'm not at all disappointed if you had a homemade Italian pasta and uh, some wine. But please get your protein in still. Let's see. Okay, eggs and bacon, beautiful. Perfect. Awesome. You are killing it on vacation. This is great. Very good. Enjoy, enjoy a little wine, but you know what? Marinated eggplant and spinach or prawns, fantastic. No need to beat yourself up here. You're doing great. This is awesome. Nancy, I'm so proud of you with this. Look at that. On vacation. What else could, could you ask for, right? Keep it up. I'll see you shortly. All right. Well, this, uh, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see. Start with the numbers. Got to pick up our totals. Good, very good balance. Good ratio. Beautiful. Spinach egg whites, good. Easy. Perfect. Right. I know Melissa mentioned that she, in my fitness pal, couldn't differentiate between four and six ounces. Okay, so a little trick. If you actually look at let me see if I can show you an example. So, our food. How do I add this up? Stop. No. Stop. Add food. Okay. For this, you can actually change the quantity or the, see, like this is one ounce preset. Usually it's probably six ounces preset, but this is actually, you can adjust it to one ounce. So anything, you can actually take it down to one usually and then scale up. So if three ounces doesn't work for me, go one ounce, Melissa. And then maybe if you had 10 total, it's that times 10, right? So that should help balance it out. Let's go numbers. So, so yeah, so these are going to, your, your intake is going to be a little bit off, um, but... I know I did not give you your number, which I apologize for. I literally got sidetracked with it in my hand. Your calorie intake goal should be 22 to 2,500, I believe. Um, and this is way too low. Your body is going to start holding on to everything it can um, and sparing muscle in the process. We we good next week to see uh, the difference in actual quantity once it's more accurate. Good balance. Definitely love the calories. I think adjusting the totals is going to help. Make sure, also make sure chicken thighs versus chicken breast that will make a difference. Leaner cut is going to have a significant different amount of calories and makeup between fat, carb, protein. Okay, look at nineteenth. Oh, not enough calories, my friend. You're melting away on me, but I want to make sure it's a good kind of melt. You start sending your, the signal to your body that there's not enough food to go around, which this is is more uh, reflective of. It muscles to be the first thing to go, and you're gonna feel not so great. We need more more data to give to to give you honest feedback. Um, from here, we'll have that goal for you this week on on intake totals. 
and uh, work towards hitting that. That's going to be your next step. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to leave 3,000 calories a day. Good. This is beautiful. Yeah, that chili looks good. Make sure chicken breast, not chicken thigh, or if it is chicken thigh, very cool. You're on fire, my friend. This is great. Off the intake. Okay, that's about it. Quality foods are good. I think I just looked at yours. Sorry. I did just look at yours, right? Yes. I'm not losing my mind. Cool. All right, Debbie, who in an email said she is down six pounds. Rock star. After vacation, too. All right. My friend, if you want to accelerate results, I'm not saying you need to lose this, but it's going to serve you best if you do. I know you curse me every time I... It set that expectation on you. Let's look at our numbers. Calorie gold needs to be much higher. 1300 is not cutting it, sending the wrong signal to our body. Good. Good. Getting our protein in it can be a lot of work, right? Okay, perfect. Like that perfect. Let's look at our numbers. Low, Debbie, really low. Come on, gotta up our numbers. It's intake total, the proportions are there. Great ratio. Quality wise, I'd flip this around if I were you. Look at the back of that container and see some things that you probably don't like. From a health perspective, but aside from that, numbers wise looks really good. Perfect. Good. Numbers wise, great proportions. We need more calories. You gotta eat more, Debbie. I know it's it's gonna be tough. Gotta eat more. Everyone thinks I'm nuts when I say that. No judgment here, but well done. This, look at this. Yes, that does make a difference over that latte. But I'd be interested. To, I think you've actually told me you had this at work. But look at what it provides: 400 calories, sugar, 66 grams, probably mainly sugar and flour, some fat. I don't even know what, where the protein comes with that, but, but we, we know that that is not serving us, but it is there nonetheless. Uh, we'll talk about that this week. Numbers wise, good. See our totals. Got up it. Oh. See, this is my thought process total calories, balance, and then quality of the foods. We'll meet our protein. Kind of my little mental checklist that I go through. So here, way the inverse was here. It was protein and carbs, which is remember protein should be our constant. Quality foods, we just need to, to shift it. That's honestly why it's so valuable to have a meal plan pre-structured. Because it takes the guesswork and thought process out of it, out of the equation. Okay. All right, thirteen hundred. Uh, come on, Debbie. We're lacking in protein. Well, you just didn't eat much. Just if you're only going to have 1,300 calories, 
but this is maybe 800 of those. No, I'm sorry, I'm doing that completely wrong. I'm losing my mind. Uh, the point is, this needs to stop, right? There we go, better numbers. So, proportions. Everyone should be eating at least, everyone at our gym probably needs at least 100 grams of protein per day for health and weight maintenance. Right, you know what to do. We'll, uh, we'll, I will get you set up with your number goal, and we will build from there. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Mary. This is from the previous week, so I apologize for not looking at this. I thought I had, but I will. I will give you feedback on this past week as well. Getting more calories in. Yes, my friend. Thank you. It's like a, ooh. Where's our challenge here? Okay, make sure you mark sweet potato if they are sweet potato. Bread's not serving us. I'm doing, ah, I want pure carbs most of the day. Come on, Mary. Let's see how the rest of our week looks. Okay. And this is before we had our chat, too. Totals got to be higher, I believe. Good for 1300 calories. That is a not the best ratio, but you can see this is relatively speaking moderately low protein, high fat in proportion to the amount of calories, and moderately low carbs. Okay, so realistically, just from a number standpoint, this is where you need to make a shift. Okay. It's not a lot of food, right? <coughs> Total calories, good. Nice. This is more what I'm talking about. Ah, how do I do this without screwing up? Total calories, good. Moderate low, moderate low carbs, moderate, moderate fat, so that there's a balance there. And really high protein, beautiful. Quality foods. Uh, supplemented protein shake, good chicken, chicken, perfect. Quest bar works well, doesn't it? Uh, I would tie that around activity and have that as an emergency, but nonetheless, works well. Calories a little bit higher, still good. Perfect. No wonder you're melting away on me. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got here. Calories are up, perfect, good. So I'd be interested for you to plug in that total number, that, that's our goal. Okay. Keep it simple, right? It works. Let's see. Whoa, what happened here, my friend? This did sustain, so thank you. But our body can afford more energy. It probably needs it, right? Burgers. I'll have to double check your, your calorie goal that I'm seeing a, a, a pattern of 13 to 1600. Okay. Set a fine, hard number. And roll with that. Okay, protein's good. Oh, whoops, there I go doing it again. That's good. This is one of the best days right here. And you had you enjoyed some Korean barbecue. Good, perfect. Awesome. This is it? This is if you're asking me about like what a day should look like, this is a great day right here. And that is a good amount of food. And that is a great balance. Okay. Carbs aren't super low, but that's okay. Especially, this would be a good exercise day. Okay, this could even be a good non-exercise day. Awesome work, Mary. Keep it up. Kim Gibson, let's see what we got. Yes, this is what I want. Thank you. And we are good, perfect. 
quality foods, top to bottom, easy. Good, very good. All right, whoa, way low. Okay, let's see what happens here. Not a great day, that's okay. There's good days and great days. You know what changes we need to make. That's a, that's an interesting thing. A lot of this, we, we know what we need to do. We just got to do it, right? That's why we're reviewing. Okay. You can see just in your meal selection, you know, in a day like this, a good bit of fruit, not a ton of protein here. This should, put, this should open your eyes up as to really what it takes to hit a protein goal for the day. We need to eat a lot more food and a lot more protein than we realize, more often than not. Okay, let's see our totals. Pretty low for you, I believe. 15 fat carb, not bad. Good balance. We're developing a habit right here. Come on. We need to focus on that. You could, you could take that and shift it. This is not a habit yet. Kim, come on. I know you got this. Calorie intake slow. And less. Good. You're like not every day is like 90%. Give me get get as close to 100 percent as you can. I know you could do it. You're almost there. You got it. Oh, Kim, come on. Low calories proportions are there. The intake total. Make a shift. That's more like it. That's those are the type of numbers you probably want to be hitting. So we got lower calories, but proportions are almost there. That is, yeah, that's good. Well, this this is where we're hurting on protein, so. Uh, we need to look at why we're eating the cookie. That's it. It's that simple. Okay. Also, we need to up our total intake of quality foods. We're seeing that there's a couple days that we hit it, a lot of days where we don't. And we have a lean. All right. Let's see what we got. Still a little confused with the Fitbit. We'll try to make sense of it though. All right. Okay, let's just look at the numbers. So daily totals. We're low, my friend. Come on. Our totals. That's closer, but I believe our number is supposed to be higher, if I remember correctly. Good. Not a bad balance. We want to bump our total intake. Protein, carbs. Sorry, this is a little. I'm reading this a little bit slower. It's a different format. So we have, oh, I mean, come on, come on. This is going to start to work against you. You're going to hit the wall. Your body's going to completely reject all your efforts, and you're not going to feel good. And you're going to get frustrated because your progress slows. I know you're killing it. You're doing awesome. But take this into account. Keep your calorie intake high. Quality could definitely improve a little bit here, too. This is where you start. Start with your protein, my friend. Here we go. Closer to our goal. If you're super active, though, this should be much higher. And let's look at our protein. Oh, it's still low. So, Alien, I think you know what you need to do. Up the intake, and you could just add a ton of protein in throughout your day, and nothing else would really need to change. 
sides, maybe a little higher carb intake some days. The calories low. Got some work to do here. Aileen, come on. Got to really make this priority to get the total intake in. Let's see if, if what the protein count is. Well, that's just off day. Let's take this day. 1363 grams. Eh, not bad, but remember, everyone, everyone at our gym should be having at least 100 grams of protein relative to them as an individual. So I think you know what you need to do. Up your intake total, add protein in is your first building block of every meal. You should be getting at least 20 to 30 grams. So even if you only eat three or four times a day, you're going to hit roughly 100 grams total, which is what your body needs.